Hello, everybody. How are you all doing? Okay, today's lesson is going to be on rhythm. This word says rhythm. Okay, rhythm means a pattern of movement or sound. Now, you probably will be learning this if you haven't already in music class, okay? So a pattern of movement or sound. You're going to connect the locomotor skills we have been practicing, and I have some cool new moves today, to sound, okay? Like a beat. You're going to find the rhythm in the sound. You're going to do your locomotor skills with me, okay? To the music, to the cool sound, okay? I have a really cool game today. It's called the exercise game. Using a type of music called hip-hop. We're going to be using some hip-hop beats to the rhythm to do our locomotor skills. Let's have some fun. All right. So here are the movements we are going to practice today. And some of them are new. So I am going to go through each one of these really quick name them, that means I'm gonna say them, and then I'm gonna show you how to practice them. Then we're gonna put it all together in a cool song called The Exercise Game. Okay, here's our movements. This word says movements. We're gonna do a walk, okay? We learn how to do a walk. We know how to do a gallop. Today we're gonna learn a bear crawl when you hear the sound to crawl. Then we're going to do a skip. Then we're going to do a march. March is something new. Then we're going to do a hop. You guys know hop up and down on one foot. Then we're going to do a tiptoe. Tiptoe is new, but we're going to use our toe pads to practice. And really, really fun one at the end is we're going to drive. We're going to pretend we have a big steering wheel. We're going to use our shoulders, and we're going to drive around pretending we're driving any type of car you guys want to the music, okay? Now, let's remember one thing. When Coach talked about rhythm, he talked about finding the music. A good way to practice rhythm is to clap. Once you start clapping, and then you can start moving your body to those beats, okay? Those patterns. Pattern is something that repeats itself over and over again in the song. You're going to move your body using these, okay, to the rhythm. Let's get started. Okay, we already know that walking is your arms and feet move opposite, right? Remember, this hand swings, other side foot steps, okay? But today you're going to use rhythm, so you can kind of be creative. That means you can find cool ways to walk to the music, okay? So, for example, you can start clapping. Instead of clapping, you can start stepping to the beat, okay? Elbows in. Hands open, arms and feet move opposite, okay? Remember with the gallop, we move straight, one foot is the leader, and one foot follows behind the whole time, okay? Don't change your knees. Crawl. Okay, all right, when we do a crawl, I want you guys to do a bear crawl. Pretend you are a baby bear. I don't want knees on the ground, no knees, okay? I want to see hands and feet only. You're going to move around to the rhythm, okay? Move around to the rhythm like a little baby bear, okay? It's time to skip. Okay, this song is going to have some rhythm, and you're going to skip to it. Last time you did an awesome job of skipping. Don't forget, 
Your knees have to change as leaders, okay? Step, then hop, then this leg, steps, then hop, okay? Step, hop, step, hop. Your knees have to change as leaders, okay? March! <laughs> Okay, for a march, the march is just like the high knees when we're running, but instead we're walking and we're getting our knees up as high as our belly. Okay? Hands and feet still move opposite. One, two, three, hop! Always up and down on one foot. If that foot gets tired, go to the other side, your opposite foot, and hop. Remember, you can use your hops to the beat, the rhythm of the song when we do it together, okay? Tiptoe. toe pads in that cartoon, okay? That means we want to tiptoe on our toe pads, just like when we're jumping or hopping. Okay, I want you to look at this shoe real quick. So here is my shoe. It's a little bit dirty, okay? So this is the toe pads right here, okay? I don't want you touching your heel. Use your toe pads, okay? Your toe pads are good for jumping, leaping, hopping, okay? Landing on them is much safer and landing on the flat part of your foot, okay? Use those toe pads when we do the song. On your marks, get set, drive your cars! Okay, this last fun exercise that we're gonna play during the exercise games very soon is called drive. Now, you're gonna pretend you have a steering wheel, okay? Wherever space you're at, please be safe. I'm gonna give you a couple options. If you want, you can move around, walk around, pretend you're driving, okay? You can run around safely, okay? Or you can also, if you want to, get on the ground and do your bicycles while you're driving or pretend you're putting on that gas pedal, okay? Because you can work your, your belly muscles and core muscles. But don't forget that when you are driving, like I showed earlier, deltoids are your shoulder muscle. This exercise to the music, to the beat, uses your deltoids. Those are your shoulder muscles. Go home and ask your mom and dad, say, hey, do you know what the name of the shoulder muscles are? And you're going to tell them, deltoids. Okay, it is time to play the exercise game. Okay, we know our walk, gallop, bear crawl, skip, march, hop, tiptoe, and drive. Those are all the exercises we just learned and practiced. Now we're going to put them all together in a song called the Exercise Game to Music. This is a hip-hop music, okay? Now it has beats and rhythms. These are patterns that we can move our body to. So you can be creative. You can dance a little bit if you want. Just try your best to do the skills we just learned, okay? And follow along with me. We'll have some fun. Walk.
Everybody gallop! Everyone, crawl. It's time to skip! All together now, march! One, two, three, hop! <laughs> Quiet now, tiptoe. Everybody, on your marks, get set, drive your cars! Everybody, Everybody, let's cool, let's cool down. down.